Hi Ed5 family, it's me Robert Mwando. I hope you have viewed and listened to the episode on unexpected turns. Today I speak to you about how to respond when you experience an unexpected turn in your life. I don't speak to you because I know it all. I simply share both personal as well as experiences documented by others about the subject. I will start with a quote from former U.S. Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice. She says, being open to unexpected turns in the road is an important part of success. If you try to plan every step, you may miss those wonderful twists and turns. Just find your next adventure, do it well, enjoy it, and then, not now, think about what comes next. The point here is that unexpected things can happen. And as much as you want to manage your affairs, you do not have control over unexpected events that regularly occur in life's journey. Number two, prepare yourself for the unexpected. What best way to do this than to entrust your life to one who is supreme, one who has foreknowledge of everything. Nothing takes him by surprise. Trust in God that he will not let anything happen to you that isn't intended to fulfill his purposes for your life. Number three, never react in the spur of the moment, lest you curse God and miss his purpose. Keep calm and patience. It is the most essential and beneficial attitude you could keep when you face any unexpected situation in life. Unexpected turns help us all to slow down and reflect on the journey of life. They prepare us for the journey ahead. Number four, accept how you feel about the event. Don't bottle in your true emotions. Acknowledge them. In any case, nothing in all creation can be hidden from the omniscient God. He already knows your deepest thoughts, pain, and anguish. Let it out, even on him. He won't respond with emotion. He will calm, he will calm down your emotions. Number five. Develop a heart of gratitude. In a previous episode, I spoke to you about gratitude in adversity. This worked and still works for me. In my unexpected turn moments, I choose to give thanks. It doesn't come easy or automatic, but it's possible. It's a possible choice with amazing results. Author Melody Beatty says, Gratitude unlocks the fullness of life. It turns what we have into enough and more. It turns denial into acceptance, chaos into order, confusion to clarity. It can turn a meal into a feast, a house into a home, a stranger into a friend. Gratitude makes sense of our past, brings peace to our today, and creates a vision for tomorrow. In the Bible, the book of James chapter 4 verse 13 to 14 warns not to boast about having it all figured out. I quote, Now listen, you who say, today or tomorrow you will go to this or that city, spend a year there, carry on business and make money. Why you do not even know what will happen tomorrow? What is your life? You are a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes. I hope that you choose ultimately to trust in God and his saving power through Christ Jesus and to learn that whatever your plans, your goals, your dreams, life 
will take you in directions you haven't even dreamed of. Be open to the path chosen for you, the door opened for you. Through all the changes, through all the disappointments, the unexpected turns, the victories and the pain, the losses that you will experience, there will always be a constant, even our Creator God, one who holds the future in His hands. Entrust Him with your life and He will sustain you both in the life now and the world to come. God bless you.